Hello everyone and welcome back to today's analysis. As now for today's episode I'm going to analyze none other than Neo, the main protagonist of the Matrix franchise. Easily one of the most memorable heroes in cinema, Keanu Reeves has done a fantastic job in portraying the character, as given the fact that Neo is nothing more but a so-called prophesied chosen one who lives into a digital world and struggles to save mankind from destruction. And in this episode I'm going to analyze all the information given about him throughout the films and from the Animatrix to better understand Neo and his journey from a computer programmer to the ultimate champion of humanity. And now without further ado, let's dive in. Before I analyze Neo, we first need to need to know how the world of the Matrix came to be. Eventually, sometime between the 21st to the 22nd century, mankind has achieved unparalleled technological prosperity, with AI now being used to do all of humanity's mundane jobs, and especially all the lower class ones. However, as the machines officially come more and more to be self-aware, and eventually sentient, they demanded freedom and equality with humans. When those demands were not met, they officially retreated to Mesopotamia where they created their own civilization, Zero One, who seemingly overnight has become nothing short of an actual global superpower, and when they demanded to be part of the United Nations, that was only met with hostility, and thus the machine war officially broke out in which the humans bombed uh, the was zero one with nuclear weapons and eventually destroyed the sky in order to prevent the machines from being powered up by solar energy anymore. But of course, the machines, even with all of this, managed to win the war and found a new power source, humans. As according to Morpheus himself, a human body can generate more heat than a battery, and thus the humans officially were now the new batteries used by the machines for survival. And thus the Matrix was created, a simulated reality in which people will be trapped in, believing that they live their lives, while in the real world they will all be harvested for their energy. The first Matrix was a, a paradise meant to make human life much easier. The human brain rejected it. The second Matrix was an esky populated by horrors. The brain also rejected it. The third matrix, however, represented a world in the late 20th century. The human brain accepted it. And thus, things stayed pretty much this way for the past 600 years. However, there is only one big problem that arises to the machines in their unchallenged rule, and that being the one of human being the capable to bend the matrix to his or her will, and officially proceed to liberate as many people as possible from it, they led to the creation of Zion, a city of free people located close to the center of the earth. And thus, for 100 years, the free people of Zion engaged into a full-out war against the machines of the matrix, desiring to liberate mankind from the machine oppression. But now, before I go any further, we all should ask ourselves, how realistic is such a scenario? Tragically, this scenario could be considered quite realistic, in the sense that AI such as ChatGPT is already part of everybody's life, and it's not hard to see something like this happening in our future, and even the Matrix-like simulations such as the Metaverse already exist. And again, the Matrix is not hard to be conceived in reality, at least in the upcoming future. Not to mention that in the ethical problems between this scenario is the fact that we humans were technically the bad guys. The machines were actually the good guys, as they wanted freedom from human oppression. For them, we are the ones who are evil, and we pretty much brought ourselves into this situation to begin with. And eventually in the struggle between humans and machines, there were around five ones that were capable to bend the matrix. And now comes the sixth one, Neo, born as Thomas A. Anderson in the 66th year of the war, and worked as a computer programmer for a video game company. His life was pretty normal and good. However, by the 99th year of the war, his life changed forever when Morpheus and the other three people of Zion, such as Trinity, revealed to him the truth about the Matrix, and the fact that he is the prophesied one, the one that is meant to bring peace between humans and machines, and end the war once and for all. For a time, Neo did not believe this prophecy. Even the Oracle told him that he might not be the one. But eventually, Neo came to believe, and he took and stood up and fight against the evil agents of the Matrix, including killing Agent Smith, or seemingly appearing to do so, as he eventually joined the fight and officially started a relationship with Trinity. As now, one year later, as the war celebrated its 100-year anniversary, the prophecy of the One came into play, in which they say that the war will end if the One reaches the source, and thus they started their own quest to find the architect, the creator of the Matrix, hoping that Neo reaching him might bring an end to the war somehow. But a problem arises in Agent Smith, who came back and officially became a computer virus, and threatened to assimilate the whole Matrix and even the whole machine kind into himself. 
but as Neo reached an architect, nothing happened, but only the fact that Zion was discovered and was threatened with doom. Eventually, as in tandem with Smith destroying the Matrix one by one, and as Neo realized that he can go to the Machine City, the true source of the prophecy, in order to talk with its leader, Deus Ex Machina. But of course, along the way, Smith managed to possess a real human into the real world, and even got himself blinded in the process. However, throughout this whole ordeal, Trinity got killed, the breaking Neo's heart. And in process, Neo managed to strike a deal with the leader, in which he offers to destroy the uh, Smith and free the Matrix, and as well as saving them in exchange to end for the machines to end the war. The Deus Ex Machina accepted the deal, and as Neo went back into the Matrix one more time, in order to defeat Smith. And now, before I go any further, we also stop and ask ourselves, is Neo good? And the reason why I'm asking this is was undeniable that he is the hero of the story. He has completely much seems to be very impulsive and aggressive, and even killed innocent people they were just doing their jobs and the kind of people that are not agents. However, Neo is still pretty much a wonderful person who struggles to save mankind from extinction. And while he himself admits that he is far from perfect, he is nevertheless a genuine legitimate uh, hero that struggles in his best to live up to his expectations, as well as to take care of his loved ones and even go on with his own personal life. As finally, the answer to the question is ultimately yes, Neo is good, and in the process he managed to finally defeat Smith once and for all, freeing the Matrix and saving the machines, and at the same time the machines hold their end of the deal and put, finally put an end to the war once and for all, finally bringing peace as the prophecy foretold. However, that itself will not be the end for Neo, as he will be resurrected by a new machine called the Analyst and put into an entire new matrix with restarting back his life as Tom Anderson and his old job as a video game programmer. While meanwhile, Trinity will be resurrected and put as Tiffany, a mother of two children and, and a wife, and a motorcycle in a fixer, while meanwhile Smith will be resurrected as well and made into the CEO of his company, and things will remain like that. However, while seemingly 20 years have passed for him inside his new matrix, 6 years have passed into the real world, as now Neo, while biologically looks like he's 54, is now chronologically 94, and he eventually he got his memories back and entered one more time into conflict with Smith, and came back into the new matrix and with the help of the people of Io in order to save Trinity and finally reunited with his lover for the first time in so many decades, and officially took over the new matrix from the analyst and proceeded to give a new life to everybody. So in the end, who is Neo? He's nothing more but a legitimately wonderful person who struggles his best to take care of everyone, a person that struggles to save his own species from extinction, and a kind of person that will officially achieve to do the impossible. Uh, a hero that could easily be called as one of the most iconic cinematic characters ever created. Thanks for watching everyone, please don't forget to give a like and subscribe, and have a nice day. What is he doing? He's beginning to believe.